Uh, my name is Perry Myers and I am a Senior Software Engineering Manager at Red Hat and I manage the uh, developers that are all working on Red Hat OpenStack and the upstream OpenStack project. We're using Puppet in a couple of different places, so we work uh, closely with the upstream um, Puppet modules uh, on the Puppet Lab site, and we have um, a tool called Packstack, and Packstack is used for uh, automating uh, small deployments of OpenStack, so it's meant for kind of proof of concepts, lab environments, and we see a lot of people who want to get started with OpenStack, but they don't have um, an easy way to do it in, in manual installs, and they don't want to set up all the infrastructure associated with a Puppet Master, so instead what we do is have this command line tool, you have a configuration file that's instead of having 400 options, which is what you get across Nova and other things, uh, instead you um, have like maybe 10 or 15 options you really need to care about. And what it'll do is uh, SSH out to a bunch of different nodes, and on each node it takes the Puppet modules and applies them manually um, using just the Puppet command line tool. So you can tell a particular node, I want you to do compute, another node you can say I want you to be the scheduler, and so forth. That's just the, the first place that we're interfacing with Puppet, um, but we also provide the Puppet modules in our Red Hat OpenStack distribution that people can use independently with their own Puppet Master. So if they have their own, they can just use that, it works fine. Uh, and then the last thing is we're working on a solution um, in the upcoming release of Red Hat OpenStack that will utilize uh, something called Foreman. And uh, Foreman is a tool that was developed um, by a Red Hat guy uh, and is, now has an, a vibrant upstream community. And it does a couple of different things. It does bare metal provisioning of nodes using Pixie and Kickstart. But then it includes a Puppet Master so you can do um, the configuration management after you get the bare metal boot. So, you know, Foreman kind of provides a little bit more of an enterprise style deployment rather than doing like SSHing or manual puppet deployment. Uh, well, RDO is kind of like, uh, if you look at RHEL and Fedora, uh, it has the same analogy to um, Red Hat OpenStack and RDO. So we see RDO as the place where people can gather uh, to use OpenStack on top of enterprise Linuxes, whether that's RHEL, CentOS, or Scientific Linux. In terms of um, where we use Puppet, it's the same you know, things that we use Puppet for in Red Hat uh, OpenStack. So you know, we have Packstack in RDO, and that includes the Puppet modules, and uh, we'll provide Foreman as part of RDO as well. It's not there yet, but we're working on that. Um, and of course, you can use your own Puppet Master with RDO too. And we've got some um, wikis right now that describe how to do, for example, form and deployment, and they're all on the Fedora hosted uh, wiki site. And uh, we're working on transitioning those over to be on the RDO wiki site so they're a little bit easier for people to find. Uh, Heat provides a little bit of automation, uh, so it provides the ability to auto-scale applications. So uh, you can say, I have an application that's got three components to it, you know, web server, database, uh, load balancer, and then using a tool like Slometer, which will alert you when a particular uh, one of those components gets up a certain threshold, Heat will then spawn up a new instance of that, uh, fronted by a load balancer. And so that helps provide automation to the data center, so you can scale up and down your applications without having to worry about manual intervention. Um, and uh, another factor in autom uh, automation would be automation of uh, the infrastructure, right? So I've got uh, a certain number of compute nodes right now, and I want to add new hardware to expand my cloud. Um, and so projects like Triple O we think are a really great idea, and so we've got the Heat developers and other um, Red Hat OpenStackers involved in pushing forward on Triple O. Yeah, I mean, it all starts with uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux, and that's the bottom layer on that slide that Brian Stevens showed today in the keynote, and that provides the, the stable platform on which to build everything on top of. And that includes uh, KVM virtualization, which is obviously very critical for users of OpenStack. Um, and then you have the IAS layer, which uh, Red Hat OpenStack plays a part of. Um, and then another thing I uh, talked about today was OpenShift, which provides the platform as a service layer. And so we have um, OpenShift Online, which is uh, hosted hosted um, externally right now, and anyone can go and sign up for an account and deploy their applications on OpenShift. But we're also going to have OpenShift Enterprise, and so someone who wants to deploy um, a completely open source stack from top to bottom can start with RHEL, layer their IAS solution on top of Red Hat OpenStack, put um, OpenShift on top of that to do application deployment, and then, you know, talking about middleware, we also have JBoss, and so you could deploy JBoss applications inside of OpenShift too. So we kind of cover you all the way from top to bottom. Thank you.